Today's video is going to be a big one. Hello, hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Arner. If you are new here, I am a spiritual life and business mentor for mothers and entrepreneurs who are seeking to get out of their own way and to really create the life, the business, the family that they truly dream of and desire. We are in December of 2023. 2024 is right around the corner and I don't know about you, but I am so sick and tired of doing what is no longer working. I am so sick and tired of repeating patterns and beliefs and cycles that only bring about suffering and pain and frustration. In today's video, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can become the cycle breaker in 2024 and stop caring what people think of you, what people think about what you do, and to start living the life that you truly want and that you truly crave. In order to become the cycle breaker in your own life, you have to start paying attention to the areas of your life that are causing you pain, areas of your life that you avoid. Where is it that you are feeling frustrated? Where is it that you are feeling anger? Where is it that you're feeling anxiety? These are all signs of where it is that you are living out of harmony with who you truly are. All of these things are gifts. All of these things are not signs or flaws that there's something wrong with you. It is simply the universe's way, God's way of communicating with you where it is that you are being called to nurture yourself, where you are being called to step in and bring something to light, bring something to your awareness. So wherever it is that we are feeling these feelings, for a long time, I was just ridden with anxiety. I was ridden with anxiety about going to work in my marriage, in my relationships, in my work. And it wasn't until I finally said enough was enough, I took a look at these areas of my life that were causing me so much suffering that I allowed these things to come into my awareness. I allowed myself to really look and ask myself the question, what doesn't feel right here? What doesn't feel good here? What doesn't feel true to me? And the more that I asked those questions, the more answers I got. Some of the things were not easy to hear. Some of the answers were really hard, but it's only when we have that awareness can we have transcendence. It's only once we become aware of what is not working that we can start to make moves and shifts in the direction of things that we really truly want, that we can allow things to start working in the ways that we're always meant to. Right. So once I had the awareness of what it was that was not working in my life, that's when I could seek support. That's when I could seek guidance. That's when I could start asking better questions and gaining knowledge, having conversations that would allow me to release these beliefs, these patterns, these cycles from my life. And that's exactly what I do with my clients. I help women break patterns and cycles and beliefs that are holding them back from really expressing who it is that they truly are in their life, in their bodies, in their relationships, in their in motherhood journey, and in their business. Because what we may not realize, what you may not realize now is that all of this is connected. Everything is connected. And where it is that you are suffering in one area of your life is going to bleed into other areas of your life because you're not gonna have that cohesiveness. You're not gonna have that harmony because there is no separation. We can't compartmentalize our life. We can't just show up and be who we truly are in our work and then go home and hide behind a mask. So that is the point of today's video is that what is not working is no longer serving you it has to be left behind as we go into 2024. The most powerful thing that you can do is to make the decision that you are no longer a victim to your circumstances. You are no longer going to stay asleep to the things in your life that are no longer serving you. So you might be asking yourself, okay, Amy, I'm ready. I want to do this. I want to change my life. I want to break these patterns, but what about my family? I'm so afraid of disappointing 
people. I'm so afraid of what people are going to think, what people are going to say, how people are going to react if I stop showing up as the person they expect me to be. And to this I say that if you don't want these people's life, then you should really ask yourself why it is that you value their opinion so much. And I'll give you an example because something that was really hard for me that held me back for a very long time, something that I had to work through myself in 2023 was really caring about what my family thought of me, was really being afraid that if I was who I was and I said no more to the patterns that were happening within my family, that they would no longer love me. But what I really had to look at was, you know what? If I in my heart of hearts know that I support whoever it is that they are and I can still find love and compassion for them being who it is that they truly are, then I believe that I deserve that same love. I believe that I don't have to agree with who I am, but that does not mean that I have to shrink myself in order to be accepted by them. And the more that I recited this, the more that I understood that, you know what? We can only receive the same love that we are willing to give. So my loves, I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope that it lit a fire in you that you do not have to repeat the same pattern. You do not have to have the same experience in 2024 that you had in 2023. You do not have to keep living the same story. You are the creator and the writer of your own life. You are the creator and the writer of your story. And if you are looking for support and mentorship and helping you and helping you through this expansion and helping you on this journey, then I hope that you will reach out and contact me through the description box below. Do not feel alone and to have the tools and support that you need in order to step into who it is that you truly want and to tell your story that you were born to tell so that you can shine your light in this world and that you can help all of us rise up into our truest potential. So like I said, go to the description box below, email me at amyrayhonor at gmail.com or find me on Instagram at XO the Sovereign Mother. Reach out. Let's make 2024 the best year yet. Bye.